Mac honors the individuality in everyone. Self-expression is key. I thought it was time to bring back the heritage of the company to the world of artistry. The collection is called Mac Makeup Art Cosmetics, and it's Fall 09 as seen by three different artists, Marilyn Minter, Richard Phillips, and Myra Kalman. We gave each of them what we felt were the appropriate products and allowed them total freedom. With that in mind, I think anything is really possible. Beauty for me is a very visual thing. It's hard to articulate. Perfection is a flaw as far as I'm concerned. It's my vision, it's my truth. Everything does fall apart because it's more real than that moment of perfection. I'm sort of on a mission. I never know what I'm gonna do until I start shooting. I mean, I have a general idea, but I just like the accident to happen. I go with that, and Mac has extremes, and I like that. Some of my favorite images are Mac's cosmetics. I think anything that gets wet starts getting sexy. Almost anything. It's always oiled up and <laughs> sweaty and wet, and makes sense to me. My makeup artist chose that pink she has real ideas to put these colors together. And I just say, well, what have you got? And she's very playful. And she makes the models perfect, and I wreck them. <laughs> and uh, she's perfectly happy and used to it by now. I have MAC makeup on right now. <laughs> it's my neighborhood makeup store. Beauty can be a switching point, which art can uh, take different directions from. I'm very conscious of how beauty gets used and for what. The painting that I was making would become the basis for a digital cosmetic intervention by Pascal Dangan, who is the uh, renowned photo retoucher. We were given a MAC collection, and within that, we began experimenting uh, digitally. The idea was that my painting would be that beginning point, and that he would use the palette and literally remake my painting, completely transform the skin tone, the eye makeup, it literally is on the surface of the painting and you see it in the most vivid possible way. The cosmetics, you would see how they were used flatly and then you would see how they were used digitally and then they go out into the world as the uh, collection for MAC in 2009. Something happens to me when I see something that I fall in love with. I don't know what the component is of just plain old interesting beauty to pathos and heartbreak. Beauty and heartbreak. In inseparable. Drawn to the melancholy slash funny. You can't escape the melancholy. And you couldn't have humor without it. I'm enchanted by different objects. I much prefer the, the world of the surreal. I work from photographs that I take myself or from books or from magazines. When we were talking about the colors and Mac and I saw the colors and the feeling, it seemed that this, this picture was apt. Color is very, very important to me. And the way that I write also, I use color a lot in the way that I write. The palette was so natural to me because that is really the palette that I work in a lot. So I use the pencils to sketch, just to have fun for no other reason and to see what the flavor was of the color. Kind of elfin, kind of um, ethereal was the feeling that I thought made sense for this. When I came upon this woman that we finally chose, I said, uh, that's the picture. Pickup sticks. All the pickup sticks are from the MAC palette. Ah, there's a bird in the back, there's a bird on the wall, there's a painting of a bird. The bird is pink. Oh, you know what? That's a goose. 